What is the Stamp Visible Layer in Photoshop? It's a handy tool that combines all your visible layers into one while keeping your original layers intact. In this video, I'll show you what it is, how it works, and how I use it in my workflow. Let's get started on this image. With this image, I'm going to do a few adjustments, but it's more about the concept of using a stamp visible layer, why and when in your workflow. Like anything in Photoshop, there's so many ways to do things. And it depends on the image or photo that you're working on and your workflow when you want to make certain adjustments. But the first thing that I'll always do is duplicate a layer. And what I tend to use in my workflow is Actions. And this is the Actions panel that I'll be using. It's available in the shop and I'll leave a link in the description for you. I'm going to come up here and click on the Action Duplicate Layer and it's now duplicated that layer. Now I'm going to go in and put a brightness of contrast. I'll just hit Auto. I'm not going to be too fussy, except that contrast is a little bit too much for me and I'm going to drop that down. What I would then will do is go, well, I'll, I might put a Levels in and I'll hit Auto and I get the levels there and I think, oh no, I don't like that and I'll play with that a little bit, make it a little bit brighter, etc. But now I've noticed that I've missed a couple of distractors, for example. Now, because I'm on an adjustment layer, I can't go in and use my removal tool to get rid of those distractors. This is where I would use a stamp visible layer. Now I can go back to layer one and click on layer one and do this, but I'm going to use the stamp visible layer. What I am going to do is come up to the actions panel and click on stamp visible layer. The shortcut key is control alt shift D or command alt shift D if you're on a Mac. What it's done now is merged all these layers into layer two. That is what I call a pixelated layer. Now, some people in their workflow will flatten their layers or merge their layers, and I tend not to do this for certain reasons, particularly when I'm creating composites. For example, if I flatten or merge the layers, it puts it all into one layer, and I do not get to keep the levels and brightness contrast layers. I like to see the layers that I've added into an image and it helps me understand what I've done in this workflow to get to my end product. Over the years, this is the workflow that works for me. I've done a stamp visible layer. Now I'm going to come up and get my removal tool. Now I'm going to remove those distractors. So I'll come over here and I'll just get rid of those little twigs that are in the water. And I find using the removal tool is much better than the spot healing tool. And I'll come in and I'll get rid of the second one. Not going to be too fussy. What I am going to do now is continue on with my workflow. Let's say, for example, I'm going to use a Q and saturation adjustment layer, I'll click on that, I'll come in, I'll desaturate that down, might add a little bit of lightness in, and I'll continue on with my workflow. Let's say now I'm finished and I want to actually add some colour grading to it. Now there's many ways that you can do colour grading. I'm going to go into Camera Raw and use the presets that are in there. But because I'm on an adjustment layer, if I come up to filter and I look for camera raw, it's grayed out, which means I now need to do a stamp visible layer or a pixelated layer. So I'm going to click on the hue and saturation, come up to my actions panel, do stamp visible, shortcut key, control, alt, shift, E. Now I can go up to camera raw I'll go into Camera Raw and I'm going to use a preset. Anyone, I'm not going to be extremely fussy on this one. And let's go a retro and let's see. 
and I'm going to click on OK. It's applied the filter that I used in Camera Raw and I'm now on what I call the Stamp Visible Layer. But there's a drawback when you use this tool technique. I can't go back now and click onto Levels or the Brightness and Contrast and make adjustments. This layer here, Layer 3, which is the Stamp Visible Layer, is like a wall. I can't go back underneath and make changes. But if I want to apply another Levels or Curves or a Hue and Saturation, I add in another layer. For example, I'll come up here now where I've got my adjustment layers. I'll click on Levels. That applies that layer. I can make adjustments now and continue on with my workflow. Now, depending what you're wanting to do in your workflow is when do you want to use the Stamp Visible layer? I'm going to add another adjustment layer and I'll come up and I'll use the photo filter. And what I'm going to use is cyan. I like to get a little bit more of a blue pop in there. I can then continue on and use a levels or a curves, whatever you're wanting to, to do to adjust this image. But for example now, I don't like the window on the right hand side there. I can't use the removal tool. I can't use the Replace tool, but I can if I have a Stamp Visible Layer. I'll come up to my Actions panel. I'll click on Stamp Visible Layer. What I'm going to do now is I'll zoom up. I'll come up to my Tools, and I'm going to use, for example, the Patch tool. I'm going to draw a rough line around this little window and I'm just going to drag that down there and I'll let go of the mouse I'll deselect Control D and now I've actually replaced that window or removed it and the only way that I could do that was to have a pixelated layer or a stamp visible layer again people will either flatten their image or merge their layers and I find that's not good housekeeping. And depending on what I want to achieve and do in my workflow, I will use a stamp visible layer a number of times. Now I'm on a stamp visible layer. What I tend to do is good housekeeping, particularly when I started using this technique, I would come in and name that layer. So I'll double click into the layer there and call it stamp visible, let's say. To recap, once I've got a stamp visible layer, I can't come back here and adjust any of the layers. This layer becomes a wall. I need to then move forward. So I could use a brightness of contrast, I could use a levels, and I can continue on with my workflow. This was to give you an insight of how to use the stamp visible layer and why. It's a great technique and I learned it many years ago in my landscape days when I was processing, and I still use it now in my digital art and composite images. As a visual, I'm going to show you what I mean by flattening or merging your layers. For example, I've got all my layers here now. If I move my mouse cursor over here and right mouse click, I can actually see flatten image or merge visible. I'm going to flatten the image and you can see now I've lost all those adjustment layers and all the layers that I've used in my workflow. Now people might do this at the end but I still like to keep my file with all the layers that I've worked on so I can see as a visual. I'll undo that and I'll bring back all the layers. I'll right mouse click again and you can see there is Merge Visible. But have a look at the shortcut key, shift Control e if I click on that, that again flattens or merges all those layers and you lose all those layers. I'll do undo to bring it back. That's why I like to work with the Stamp Visible layer. 
I need the stamp visible layer to do certain techniques like remove distractors or other techniques that I will use in the workflow. But I can also see what I've added. For example, I can look and go, oh, I added in a cyan blue there. That worked. I might want to add another photo filter later on in my workflow. Thanks for watching. Hope this explained. And if you do like this video, don't forget to subscribe and also click that bell for notifications.